Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and as you can see by the title, this is going to be an update on my EDC. Now, it's been requested uh, that I do an update on my EDC by a couple of my subscribers, but the reason I don't normally do them that often is because my EDC doesn't really change that much. Uh, I've got a couple key items that always stay the same, and then, you know, I do have some certain items that I rotate in and out to test or to, uh, you know, to see if they'll work, work out better or anything like that, so that's why I don't really crank out a lot of EDC videos because, you know, nobody wants to see a repetitive video of, you know, pretty much when one thing changes. So uh, I figured, you know, being a new year and having uh, a couple new subscribers, they might not have caught the uh, the last EDC video that I did. So I figured I'd do a new one. So um, without further ado, this is basically what I've been carrying. I normally do carry a, uh, a watch on a daily basis. This is just the uh, my G-Shock. And then I carry a paracord bracelet. Uh, this obviously changes uh, pretty much daily depending on the mood. Uh, you know, sometimes I try new colors out, uh, new weaves. This one's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's basically a double. So it's uh, it's a cobra stitch, but it has uh, I use two um, cords. So as you guys can see, it's two on the side and two in the middle there. So it makes it the width of a king cobra, but you don't actually have to go you know through twice. You just go down once and you're good to go. So uh, I was trying that out. I normally do wear some Oakley glasses as well, but seeing as I'm filming this video at night already, I already put them away, so I don't have them. But that kind of rotates out in and out every day as well. Uh, one thing that does stay the same is my keys. This is um, my car keys. I've got a couple mailbox keys on there. And then the only other thing on my keys is this Swiss Army Knife uh, Classic. Uh, basically, this has always been on my keys, and this is the one piece of gear that never changes. Uh, it comes in handy a lot, so I always keep it on my gear. And then uh, the other thing is this uh, uh, Night Eye S Beaner. I just have that on there in case I have to clip my keys on my pants or in a bag or something like that, and it's good to go. Now, there is another piece of gear that normally doesn't come out in the video, and that's my iPhone 4. I use that to shoot the video, so obviously you won't see that in the video. So, uh, my wallet, this is the uh, Maxpedition Micro Wallet. It's basically, I've been carrying it for well over a year, and it's great. I love this thing. I used to carry leather wallets, but after a certain amount of time, they would get too bulky when I start adding more stuff to it. Or, you know, they... They just the, the leather wouldn't hold up, and you know, unless this was like a really expensive one, and you know, then I, you know, I'd be worried about messing it up. So this one, you know, it's very economical, uh, very affordable, and it, it, it works great. I mean, there's it's it looks almost like the day I bought it, so there's not a lot of wear and tear on it, or it won't show a lot of wear and tear. So I definitely recommend that wallet. The uh, other piece of gear is right here. This is a pen. I always try and carry a pen with me just because. Uh, you know, you just never know. It's always good to have it with you. And this is this one's really cool. It's a zebra telescoping pen, and basically, it's a uh, it's a very small form factor. The uh, tip is actually inside of the pen, so if you have it in your pocket, it won't scratch up the pocket or anything like that. And then when you're ready to use it, you just pull it, and it becomes a full size pen. And then the tip comes out, and you can write, and you're good to go. Bring it back down and put it in your pocket, and none's the wiser. So there you go. It's the uh, zebra telescoping pen, uh, flashlight. I've been using the uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro. Uh, this is obviously an, an old classic. A lot of uh, a lot of flashlight nuts have it in in their collection, or they use it as part of their EDC. I rotate my flashlights in and out depending on if I purchase something new or if uh, if I'm testing something or whatnot. But when I'm not, I kind of try and go back to something simple, and this is uh, pretty much as simple as you can get. Uh, two AAA batteries. It gives you enough light for what it is that you would need to do on a daily basis, and you don't have to you know mess with a lot of modes. It's just one click mode, and that's it. It also has the pressure um, cap, so that if you don't if you don't want to click it, you just want to kind of lightly press it it comes on and you're good to go it's pretty nice deep right pocket clip so yeah you know for for what i needed it for is, is good enough so uh, that's what i've been rocking lately uh one thing that is new and i've been testing out is uh this right here this is just a small um kind of first aid personal first aid kit it just has a couple band-aids um some alcohol wipes and some tylenol so it's it's good, and you know that way I don't have to worry about if I'm not carrying a bigger first aid kit or something like that. And it's just something small, a small make or something like that. This will handle that. Also, especially with kids, you know they fall, scrape their knees and stuff like that. This comes in handy with that. It does, doesn't take up any room whatsoever. It's just you know a couple of, of items inside of a Ziploc bag, and as you guys can see right here. It's a lot thinner than the wallet itself, so you drop it in a pocket and you won't even feel it all day. But you have a couple little good feel items there if you, in case you need them. So I've been trying that out and uh, I, definitely, I definitely have been enjoying it. One thing that I did want to add to my EDC was a fixed blade knife. Uh, sometimes I carry, I carry one, but I 
find it that it, it, it becomes too big, too heavy, too bulky. So I've been trying this one out. This is actually the uh, Boker Rambler. Uh, this is a great little EDC knife. It's a very small, small blade, but it's very, very sharp. It, it takes an edge really well. I did add the uh, paracord lanyard in the back, and basically what that does is it gives me a little bit more purchase handle on there, so it makes it more comfortable. But it also makes it a lot easier to uh, to draw the knife from the sheath. Now, the sheath that this knife brings is a, uh, a leather sheath, and it's uh, actually a vertical carry sheath. So you slide it on the belt, and the knife carries vertically. I don't particularly like that, especially the fact that it's leather every time that I you know draw the knife or put it back in i feel like i'm, uh, I'm gonna uh, cut it so i had somebody make me up this uh, kydex sheath and as you guys can see there the knife fits in really nice uh enough of the handle sticking out so i can grab it but again you know that paracord lanyard gives me the rest and it rides uh horizontally on the belt so i can wear it you know uh, to the side i can wear it in the, in the small of the back and it gives me a lot of more options to carry it uh, they, the one thing that I really like that they did is, um, this belt loop. Normally when you have a small knife, you get the, you know, the certain belt loops that you would get with the knives, um, uh, actually add a lot more width to the, to the sheath of the knife. And I really don't like that because I want it to be as slim a uh, form factor as possible. So the way that they did this is, uh, it's just a piece of kydex that got folded over and it's open on the top. And then basically I just slide this into my belt and you know, it's, it's secure enough to, to hold the knife. There's enough pressure where it's not going to come off when I draw it or anything like that. And I'm good to go. So I've been testing it out and it's, uh, it's been actually coming out really handy. So I really like it. And then my, my, uh, EDC, um, folder is the Spyderco Ulize, a little bit on the bigger side, but it's very, very thin. And that, um, blade gives you enough to do whatever it is that you would have to do, um, w you know, whether it's a EDC task or personal defense or anything like that. The um, you know, it, it's it's a great blade. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely uh, you know, try and get your hands on one and play with it and stuff like that because it comes uh, very very sharp out of the box and you have enough belly to do whatever it is that you need to do. So it's the uh, Spyderco Ulize. And then last but not least, my firearm that I've been carrying is my. Glock 23, chambered in 40 caliber. Let me go ahead and take the magazine out. All right, so you guys can see it's empty. So, uh, you know, it's obviously a, a nice uh, go-to gun. And the reason that I've been carrying this is because I actually ordered a new carrying system for this. It's, uh, it's on the way, so I wanted to kind of get myself a little bit more accustomed to carrying this again because normally I carry uh, something a little smaller, but this uh, definitely comes in handy, um, you know, with uh, when you need something with a little bit more um uh, capacity as far as the ammo goes and you know obviously more stopping power with the 40 caliber but uh i should have a video in the next couple of weeks with a new carrying system and uh you know so hopefully it uh it'll work out you know good for me and, and then i'll i can carry this particular firearm more often so there you go this is my uh current edc uh as in, as in january 2013 let me know if you guys have any questions and i hope you enjoyed that thanks